Hi everyone, welcome back to Commerce Student. Today in this video, we will learn about the convention of consistency or consistency principle. Let's get started. What is convention of consistency? See, it's very simple to understand. Consistency implies uniformity in accounting practice. Fine. According to this principle, whatever accounting methods, practices or policies are selected for a given category of transactions in a period to maintain books of accounts has to be followed consistently from one period to the next until and unless there is some valid reason to change that practice. So that implies uniform accounting practices must be followed by an accountant in an organization. Let me give you an example. Suppose a company purchases a fixed asset machinery and as per the accounting rule, the company has to charge depreciation on its fixed assets. And there are various reasons why it is charged, right? We will get through it while studying depreciation in detail. For now, let's just say to charge depreciation, it is necessary to calculate its amount, okay? And there are various methods like we have WDV, SLM, annuity method, etc. Let's just say the company selected WDV, the written down value method, in the first year. Then in the second year, it is supposed to follow the same method again and for the following years to come. This is what is meant by following the consistency principle or the convention of consistency. Okay. So same method is repeated year after year. On the other hand, if you use WDV in first year, SLM in the second year, NUT method in the third year, and some other method in the fourth year, and so on, then you are doing completely wrong because you are not following the consistency principle. Same is the case with inventory valuation, that is stock of the company. There are various methods for it. We have FIFO, LIFO, weighted average cost, etc. So if you follow FIFO in first year, then you are supposed to apply FIFO for the following years to come. But if you don't stick to FIFO, say in the second year, you selected LIFO and go on changing methods year after year, then it's not correct. Fine? Now the question lies why you have to be consistent or what is the need for consistency principle? So because of this principle, the financial statement is like profit and loss account or balance sheet that you prepare will have the advantage of comparability. You will easily compare financial statements of one period with another because both of these periods have followed same method as well as the result is that you will get will be more reliable, authentic that will enable the users of accounting to make correct decisions they will be able to identify the trends in the financial performance of the company more easily as compared to those who are not following the consistency principle. Okay, so the moral here lies simple. Follow the same accounting method or practice on repetitive basis. Otherwise, it will lead to huge confusion so far as the accounting results are concerned. But there might be certain circumstances also where change is allowed, where maintaining consistency in accounting methods may not be appropriate, like changes in accounting standards. For example, if accounting bodies change accounting standards or regulations, then the accountant has to change the method also in order to comply with those standards. Second, changes in industry practices. If there are changes in the industry practices which are commonly followed by similar businesses, like change change in textile industry will affect all businesses who are involved in textile trade then the accountant have to change the method to fit with the new practices and change in method is also incorporated if it leads to better presentation of financial statements of business which was not possible earlier apart from this the accountant has to disclose the change properly like what was the change all about? Suppose changing the method of charging depreciation, which must be highlighted by adding a footnote below the balance sheet. Similarly, why the change was done and also its impact on accounting 
records however if the accountant fails to disclose any change then it will be presumed that old practices are still being used over the time and unfortunately it will lead to wrong interpretation of financial performance of business so this is all about the convention of consistency or consistency principle that's all for today's video if you found it useful give it a like share it with others and please subscribe to my channel press the bell icon for future notifications See you in next video.